Hello everybody, welcome back to the Chili Clan. We're gonna be doing none other than a box opening for another serviceable product. This time it's none other than the most recent BPO4 Cosmic Mythos right here. Let's go ahead and roll the intro and get into it. <laughs> What's going on guys? We are back here with another box up against I said. So BPO4 is a beautiful, beautiful set. Be sure to check out our video up here for as to why we think pretty much no one really lost out as a result of this new expansion. So let kind of take a look at that. So we have the front, we have beautiful Israfil, one of the most sought after neutral cards as a result of just her being a very powerful control player stream. And then we go to the back, we have the six, six cards representing the six classes. I believe that, or yeah, representing the six classes. Also, the legendary right, we have Castlepia for Forestcraft, Mars, Selling Flame General for Swordcraft, Giant Chimera for. Runecraft, then we have Sybil of the Waterworm for Trackingcraft, Man of Venom Fame Hagusa for Abysscraft, and Eker of the White Wing for Havencraft. So we're gonna get down the way and cut this box open. It's gonna still be the traditional 16 pack per box system. So anywhere from 0 to 2 SLs will appear in this box. And not to mention, this time we actually have the Cold Geos Reluctant Rebellion collab intact. So we will have a chance to see those cards. So we got our way. So this time we don't have box toppers. No box toppers for a for the set. But that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and start with the left side here. So we're gonna go ahead and crack these up. Uh, this time it's only the Israfil art on all of these. A pack here, so we're gonna go ahead and get, hopefully get that in focus. Kind of go over like some of the main cards we're seeing. So, Europe is our first gold there, and we got uh, another gold star phoenix. Then we have our obligatory token, it's gonna set that aside, put that over there. So, uh, make sure I start a little trash pile, figure this out later. <laughs> Never fully prepared to run these. Nice way is so good, especially if you play open A. This card is busted. Okay, then we got a fashion instant Elcha. Very good card for Forest Craft, as I we said in a previous video before. Then we have the new Serpent Token for the new Gorgon Architect we have going on. We're gonna go ahead and set those inside over here. Okay, so not getting too fancy yet, but that's okay. We get a little bit of a Slow start, or we have our first version here, we have Deep Wood Anomaly, the card that could literally be an alternate Wing Kong, so we do have that going. Then we have, you know, we see yes, we're already seeing some of these Cold Geos collab cards, and we also have Gold King Elephant right there. Obligatory Evolve token. Alrighty. Decent start. So Deep Wood Anomaly will not really see all that much play because of the fact that we can't really give the guy Storm. <laughs> Though that would be busted. No one wants to see that kind of gameplay I reckon. Lightning Blast is our gold in this pack. Mega Orcas that I somehow don't have prior to opening this set. You know, it's really funny when I did open 8 yesterday at 88 Card House where all the killers I opened were only Megalor Cut Serpents and I, I, I forget. <laughs> Alright, we have the Divine Tiger there, more Star Phoenixes. So yeah, apparently you could still get legacy tokens as other packs would. So that is very nice. Ooh, that pack opened up kind of ugly. Round table. Sure is charge with the Suzaku alt art. Right. Looks like a lot of hits are gonna be in the dark section. Okay. Aqua Nerig Fancy Foiling. And Ariek for our Gold Oh yeah, Goblin Kings for like the other new token. Okay, almost halfway there. Try to make sure I don't run out of battery on any of these cameras. I forgot to actually charge stuff. <laughs> so neglectful. 
All right, give our SL Mars Silent Flame General Neuro. Look at how beautiful that is. Click that aside really quick there. And the loose version of Demon Lord Ektar. Before, before we even see Demon Lord Ektar himself. I should quickly actually sweep that really quick right there. Evolved Mars SL. Beautiful. Okay. Then we have an L Venom Fang Medusa, the actual Demon Lord Ektar, and Token. Something I recall someone saying was how the old Medusa from BP01 at Venom Genesis did not have the Gorgon trait because they did not end up quote unquote for it. Ooh, yes, yeah, beautiful. It's Refill. That is the card you want to see right there, along with another. Evolved Mars Flame General. Okay, that was a pretty god pack, not gonna lie. Got to see a couple of things up here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Cars are so good. <laughs> okay. So, so, so far, we are, we, 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 we've seen some very decent hits here. Cyclone Blade, the original for the Suzaku Severus Charge card we saw earlier. Alrighty, alrighty. Still trying to make our time through here. Mr. Green pretty nice as Rika has alluded to. Dark Charisma, the Charles Z Britannia alt art for a globe of the Starways. Beautiful. Alright. More Mystic Rings, Starbreaker Stella, very nice for spell chain decks. I think we pretty much hit everything we're supposed to hit. Not really keeping count here. Grimnir for funny slower decks. Getting all these Megalorcas. Alright, almost at the very end here. It's kind of like a boss's kill team there because I guess I gotta fold the top for some reason. What we got for this one, Stango and Stango Evolved. That's convenient. You can barely tell it's Stango, basically looks foil. That's kind of funny. Okay, final pack, and finally uh, get rid of the box here. Speed. Our armor of stars is hilarious in the Open A format. Then we have Giant Chimera as our final legendary there, along with Zoe and Grimnir Evolved for our Ghost in that pack. Alright, so honestly, despite not hitting any really high rarity, you know, use, no leaders, etc. Still did pretty well. The fact that I think, say, SL Mars and Isra Phil herself, that's already pretty good, not gonna lie. <laughs> Can't ever go wrong with Giant Chimera, of course. So honestly, yeah. It's really hard to go wrong with opening this set, honestly speaking. There's a lot of good chase cards, a lot of good collectible cards with the Code Geos, the Lucian Rebellion collab. It, it's going to be awesome. Definitely go and pick yourself a box or some. So with that, thank you all for watching. Continue to embrace the guys, and I'll catch you over in the next video. Bye-bye.